Yuka Bambomsi Chini Tanchu Mungong to we gonna give this motherfucking mayor her round of applause. I say you done made it big. I know she didn't have other stories in the newspapers. I understand. But the newspaper is out here looking for you, boo. I say you done made it even big time. I'm saying you going viral like you was looking for. Get your round of applause, girl. They is looking for you. If CBS News, I don't care if it's the local CBS. If CBS News is looking for you, you done did something. I, I want to say right. I want to say did something right. But I don't think I should be that disrespectful. Let me just give you your motherfucking round of applause <laughs> we are here on cbs news in chicago dalton mayor tiffany and you're nowhere to be found after a report <laughs> reveals huge village debt i'm about to do this story <laughs> well not this story i'm about to do this next video for the page <laughs> and i googled her looking for something else and I was like, well, god damn, is CBS out there like Tiffany? Where is you at, boo? <laughs> I know not really, but that title just threw me for a loop because I was like, I know that was her ultimate goal was to just be known and to be wanted and to just be the most admired single black queen there is. But motherfucker, no, we searching for you because we got questions. <laughs> They got handcuffs that need hands to be cuffing. <laughs> like, no, like, no, like, no, come on now. No, we in 2024, it was supposed to get better, boo. It was supposed to get better. We appreciate you, Tara Molina. <laughs> this was printed on August the 9th, 2024 at 425 p.m. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get my life together. But now this doesn't make me giggle. So now I'm in the giggle, boo. I'm gonna I'm stop, though. I'm gonna stop. Woosa, okay. Chicago CBS, a day after a report on a probe of the village's finances found South Suburban Dalton is more than $3.5 million in the red. Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who is accused of misusing taxpayer money, was nowhere to be found. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, who was hired by the village board to investigate Henyard's handling of village finances, released preliminary findings that the village is not only in significant debt, but that credit card spending is out of control. <laughs> that song, that's not out of control. Is it Sierra? <laughs> Put your back on the wall. Ain't that what it's like? Tiffany, no! <laughs> I swear, it's just like she came all of a sudden. I didn't know who the fuck she was last year. Motherfucker just wanted to be viral. She wanted to be viral, but why? But why? <laughs> I'm just imagining all of the wigs and the outfits. Girl, was it worth it? OMG. For the next 10 to 15 to 20 to 35 to 45 or, you know, infinity for the next however many years can you tell me is these last two to three to maybe four to five years worth it was it worth it did you have so much fun okay Hanyard hasn't re responded to requests for comment and wasn't at dalton village hall on friday her office oh jesus because the meeting was on thursday you may not have changed your door to me no you i come to work you can't do like keith freeman you, you can't do it. It's too late. You got to figure some shit out. You supposed to be in there shredding and dicing and lighting fire. At this point, whatever methods need to be done, you are supposed to be getting rid of as much as possible. If you had the flashy thing from Men in Black, I'd have found Keith Freeman in the alley. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All the possibilities are possible at this point. She could have got a Men in Black flashy thing she became the motherfucking mayor so you you, you tell me what's impossible <laughs> her office did not respond to repeated requests for an interview was anybody there to respond 
I will I will work right now. I will work. I will come in as a as a, a temporary agent right now. As long as the check's clear, I'll come over there. I'll come over there and answer the phones for you, Tiff. Call me, boo. Call me. I'm going I'm to bring the blanket. Village employees said Henyard wasn't in the office and didn't say when she would be. At a special village meeting Thursday night, Lightfoot announced her finances found the village's general fund had a negative balance of $3.65 million as of May 31. Lightfoot was hired by village trustees concerned about spending, like self-promoting taxpayer-funded billboards ads, and spending on lavish dinners and trips. Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood sat down with the CBS News Chicago investigators in February, saying trustees were denied requested bank statements. The last time I received the bank statement was in September of last year, and we were $7 million in debt at that time, Norwood said at the time. So at this current moment, we're saying... Hey, where are the bank statements so we can know where we are? With credit card spending out of control and receipts for credit card purchases rarely provided, Lightfoot further uncovered spending that doesn't add up. The report shows $40,000 spent on Amazon purchases in one day. Money that's unaccounted for. I'm going to just wait right here. I'm going to wait right here. Because if there's any way that she can explain that to the FBI, the regular police, even if Louis Lacey walked in and was like, Mayor, I'm going to have to bring you up on some charges. We got $40,000 on Amazon with no receipts. Can you explain this? Even though I think he probably the one that spent it allegedly in my opinion. Um, what, what, what kind of feasible reason do you think she could provide because I got it in my halfway of a right brain, left brain. I don't know, wherever my thinking been going on. I got to think in my mind, she somehow thought everything that happened, she would be able to explain. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I would play dumb as a motherfucker. I would say I did not know I could not spend Thornton money when I went to Vegas because I was on a mayor's trip. I had conversations about Thornton. Like, I'd, I'd have played dumb as shit. I know it won't work, but that would have been my logic and my reason. I would have been consciously stupid. Like, if people would have tried to tell me stuff, I wouldn't have listened. I'd have literally been like, no, don't tell me that. Wait a minute. I'm upset about me. Uh, no, 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 don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Okay, I understand what you say, but let, let, I don't really understand what you say. I'm going to talk to you later. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I'd have just ran away. Like, I would do shit like that if you was trying to explain to me, hey, I saw you did this, and you know what you actually can do, because that's, I'd have did all that. I'd have did all that. I'd have, I'd have ran away. No, I don't want to hear it because I'm going to be consciously stupid. No, they never told me I couldn't do that. I won't do it again, I promise. <laughs> oh, MG, what do you think she thought that she could spend $40,000 on? Even if she didn't know. Even if somebody else just had the card and she gave them the free will. She had to think that she could explain away. No, it's okay for them to use these cards because... What was the because? She can't be that dumb just thinking she could say because I said so. That only works with your four-year-old, five-year-old, seven-year-old, eight-year-old, however the old the fuck child is. I don't know, single mother. But can we get a, a backup plan in place? Do you got a long-term babysitter who won't watch the child? Because you might need that assistance. Allegedly, in my opinion, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Because she kept going. She did it to herself. What the fuck is wrong with people? These are somebody using one of the credit cards, Lightfoot said. Another question lingering Another question, lingering question, remains about money spent on police over time, with two officers ranking, racking up six figures in pure overtime last year, more than doubling their base 
pay. One officer made $108,000 in overtime alone in fiscal year 2023 and $114,000 in uh, fiscal year 2024, up against a regular pay of $72,000. Not enough. Not enough. Everybody else struggling, but not enough. In fiscal year 2023 and 87000 in, in fiscal year 2024. The other officer racked up $87,000 in overtime in fiscal year 2023 and $102,000 in fiscal year 2024 against regular pay of $55,000 in fiscal year 2023 and $73,000 in fiscal year 2024. Deputy Chief Lacey, Louis Lacey, who was fired last week, was paid 96000 in overtime last fiscal year. The village has been unable to pay all of its monthly expenditures with its available cash balance, Lightfoot said. None of the village's trustees responded to requests for comment on Lightfoot's, Lightfoot's report. See this when I take my mean ass and my jealous ass and I just get off the internet and I go on about my day because now I'm just jealous as fuck. And I'm very upset and angry. I had to re-record this part because I went off the deep end a little bit. I just really, I have the type of job right now that if you need a break longer than 10 minutes, you either clock out or they will clock you out. <laughs> But you say these people are doing such a great job that they deserve to get double, triple, quadruple. It's amazing to me. And I don't even live here, but it's only because I know that this goes on everywhere and in the city that I'm in right now. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I owe in taxes every year. And why? So that people can do undercover shit and we never get the money back. That, that's the thing about it. I understand y'all going to recoup you lo your losses like the police officers. They can easily say you have to pay this money back. And for years, these people paying this money back. When do I get my mismanagement money back? The government is a true joke. And the older you get, when you really look into it, I, I, I really look at people and just shake my head. The people who like really put their heart and soul and believe wholeheartedly into this politics thing. But looking at this and knowing how hard I work every day <laughs> to have to give my money to people who just mismanage the fuck out of it. And then look at you and look at you and look at you and, and, and don't say nothing. Don't got to account for nothing. Just can literally Tiffany Henyard literally can just keep on going until somebody above somewhere just say, you know, OK, now enough is enough. It's, it's a fucking amazing to me. I am upset. <laughs> I'm poor. I'm poor. I'm so tired of being poor. And I'm so tired of giving my money to the other people. Because um, even though I owe in taxes every year, you got to remember, they still take it out my check. So you take it out my check. And then at the end of the year, I got to give you more. I got to give you more. Okay. Okay. No, you right. You right. I can't manage my own money um, the way I need to because I got to give you some. And then I turn around and look at the shit that y'all do with the... <laughs> All right, y'all, my stomach hurt enough for the day. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.